Whether you play Xbox, PS5, PC, it doesn't matter. Today, I'll be giving you the definitive best TV brand and type for gaming point blank period. So smack a like on this video. I'm not a salesman. I don't sell you TVs. I tell you how they perform. If you like that kind of thing, smack a like on this video and let's dive right into it by telling you a Samsung Quantum Dot OLED, if you are a gamer, is hands down what you want to go with. Why is that? Simply put, they have all the features you could ever hope for. From a black equalizer, they have motion, like smoothing and game mode specifically, only manufacturer right now that does that. In addition to having exceptional brightness, but the real kicker is quantum dot color. That QD color, I'm telling you, is like leagues above everybody else. Even Sony, because Sony likes to mute it down for the sake of accuracy but when you're a gamer if you're a lot like me and every other gamer you want the most impact and shock and awe out of your image and samsung delivers these gorgeous highlights this three-dimensional pull into the image and then this crazy highlight detail where every explosion every flash of light will just look incredible but it goes a step above that right they also give you really good sound in these TVs too, so if you were a little broke after paying a lot of money for your television or a little bit or whatever the case may be, you're not going to have to buy a sound bar, which is huge because usually you have to, and it's optional at that point, which I freaking love. And the, the audio is just so clear nowadays on Samsung that it's shocking me that these the sound, the dynamic sound like that is coming out of a television. Now, Samsung is notorious for bad updates. And even after those updates, the TV still performs better than top brands like Sony and LG are producing. Now the immediate argument is, why wouldn't we just go with LG then? Because LG has every gaming feature you could want from G-Sync, FreeSync, and so on and so forth. Why not LG? Simply put, WOLED is old technology. You just are buying an outdated TV out the gate. It is literally pointless. Yeah, they say they have micro lens array and it's getting brighter and brighter, but if we know the science, and if you don't, I'll tell you, uh, anytime you're making a W OLED brighter, you're just diluting the color. Unless there's new color filtering and technology put into it, like phosphor or something like that beyond what they're using now, you're not getting the level of bam and just the, the wow factor that you're getting out of these QD OLEDs. It's not going to happen. Now, Sony has terrible motion, so we can throw them completely out of the book. And on top of bad motion, Sony is way overpriced and unrealistic for most people, on top of the fact that Sony doesn't have full bandwidth HDMI 2.1 or 144 hertz. They are just not a gaming TV. They're what you get when you're one of those purist snobs that, you know, believe the whole accuracy trend, and, like, Sony is just king of king, and you just have a lot more money than you know what to do with, and you don't really have any common sense for where to spend it. Then you'd buy a Sony for gaming. Otherwise, don't do that. That's like really dumb. It's a bad move, okay? And that's just me being a person and being very real with you. I test all these TVs as you guys see, and I know this. I know the T, right? And I don't do what everybody else does. I'm not going to sit here and attach links and say everything's amazing because at some point, a product's not going to be worth buying. And these days, Sony TVs are kind of not worth buying until they start improving in their weakest points, which that's not happening because we have apologists and useful idiots and fanboys. So good luck with that whole argument there. But Samsung is doing something very special. Now let's go even deeper into this. What about burn-in? Well, simply put, it is a non-issue at this point with the TVs that we have. I am sorry if I sound like an ignorant person. I'm not saying you're never going to get it on any circumstance. It is incredibly rare, though. I have tested across over four OLEDs now, and I'm using two Samsung S95Bs, a Sony A8G Bravia OLED from 2019, and an LG C1. And I constantly run those through the ringer to see if I'm going to get burning. I leave them on when I fall asleep. I go to the store and forget about it sometimes. And at no point in time have I ever run into any burning whatsoever. And again, this screams one thing. These TVs are more than perfectly fine for gaming. Now, again, there's this hysteria attached to OLED where it's like, it's just going to burn in. The possibility does exist in some people. Because the possibility exists, they don't want to use it for gaming. You are shortchanging yourself, I'll tell you that right now. Because everything I've ever played on my QD OLED TVs has just been, like, day and night, the best TV in the entire house. And I, like, look at the other TVs in the house and I'm like, there's just no freaking way I'm going back. And there is no way I'm going back. I am not about to play freaking Steam or fucking PS5 or any of that on something that is not going to deliver me the picture that I love so much. And that is something that I do want to point out. I'm somebody that does this regularly for a living, like reviewing TVs and analyzing them and telling you how they are. And I'm going with a QD OLED from Samsung. 
That's like, you know, going to a dentist that has bad teeth or something like that. You wouldn't do that. I got the best TV and I'm putting you onto it the way the dentist is putting you onto the best, you know, hygiene and stuff like that. Typically, unless you got one of those really shady ones. But, I mean, that aside, you get what I'm saying. Like, you have to go where the money is. And so, again, even if you have to save up, if you have to use apps or whatever, do so if you are serious about gaming. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't care, any TV on planet Earth will do. If you're just after a big screen, then go do that. I mean, this video obviously isn't for you. But for people who are serious about gaming and want, here's the key here, the best TV for gaming, period, you are going to go with the Samsung Quantum.OLED. Anyone arguing anything else at this point is being very disingenuous and very dishonest. Because 2024, right now where we are, nobody's touching Samsung right now for the QD OLED game and for how gaming looks in general. Now, an argument can be made that these new TVs that are going to get up to 5,000 nits are going to be so amazing and so wonderful, but they are coming from budget brand manufacturers. The only real downside to that is processing. Processing with these brands are usually quite bad, and you have to go in and do a lot of work, and even then, it still just lacks that something extra. Now, we'll give them a fair shake and see how they do this year, but again, it's not going to be self-emissive on a pixel level on top of having quantum dots, so you're not going to have that same level of just damn that you're getting out of these QD OLEDs. You're just not. And I'm going to be the person to tell you that in case you were maybe actually looking for the best. And don't be that guy buying quantum dot OLED monitors or things like that. Those are way overpriced for what they are. Get the TV instead. It does the same thing, more or less, seriously. Don't waste your money. But again, it is your choice. And I would like to know what choice you did make in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.